it's Becky Fox here and today I want to show you five of my favorite core exercises. These are exercises you can do pretty much anywhere. They don't require any equipment. And we're going to go ahead and put this together in a little circuit that takes you only five minutes to do. All right, so as we're going through this workout, you're going to notice that I don't have a whole bunch of crunches in here. Actually, I don't have any crunches. I'm not a huge fan of crunches and sit-ups. I don't think they're the best exercises to work our core. And there's a lot of better exercises that really work the core and work a lot of other muscles as well. So you'll see that as we're going through these exercises. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys these five exercises and we're going to take it through 30 seconds for each exercise and I'll give you some pointers and some tips as we go. All right, are you ready? Let's rock this. All right, so we're gonna start right on our back with one of my favorites, a dying bug. So I want you to go ahead and take your hands up and take those knees at a nice 90 degree. And we're just gonna alternate opposite arm, opposite leg. I know it takes a little brain power and a little coordination here, but you totally got this. So one of the big keys here to really engage your core is to press that back down into the mat and keep that belly nice and tight as you go through this movement, okay? All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple more here. You got it, awesome. Let's go one more on this other side. All right, and from there, we're gonna stay in the same position. We're gonna do a hollow hold. So I want you to lift your shoulder blades off the floor and just hold it here. Keep that back to the floor, keep that belly tight. Now you can stay here, okay, if you're a beginner, but if you wanna take this a little more advanced, you can start to straighten out those legs a little more. Oops, starting to shake a little bit more here. And if you wanna make this even harder, you can start to lower your legs a little lower and take your hands overhead. So it's all about finding kind of what works for you, but where you can still keep that back on the floor. So if you start to arch, right, as you come down, don't lower those legs quite so far. All right, from there, we're gonna come up, have a seat. We're gonna go right into a Russian twist. So you're gonna sit back, you're gonna be right on that tailbone, and we're gonna to start to twist side to side. Okay, so you're kind of making a V shape with your body, but I like to get a little bit of twisting movement in here. Okay, so we wanna be able to twist that core as well, not just hold it straight like in, you know, in the hollow hole, the dying bugs, planks, that kind of movement. This rotational movement is important too. So I'm just gonna reach into either side to either hip. All right, from there, we're gonna take it right on into a plank. So we're gonna flip you over. I love planks, actually, I'm gonna go this way. So elbows right on the floor, right there. So one of the keys with the plank is to push away from the floor, to get those hips down, squeeze that booty, squeeze that belly, and keep everything tight. If it's too much on your toes, you can always drop to those knees and keep going right here. All right, three, two, one, drop it down. Now we're gonna do a Superman. So this is a little bit more of a back exercise, but your back is part of your core as well. So let's come onto that belly, hands out. We're gonna lift our chest and our legs up off the floor. We're gonna add a little pull down and really get some extra squeeze in that upper back. So squeeze it down and reach it out. All right, right there, you got it. Keep going, awesome. So lift the chest, lift those legs. Five seconds, four, you got it. Three, good, two more, and one last one. All right, that's one round. So we're gonna go back through this one more time and let you just get a little more comfortable with those moves. All right, and you can go back through this as many times as you want. Do three or four rounds is a really great way to get a great, good core workout in. All right, so let's take you back down for dying bug. All right, so knees bent, hands up, opposite arm, opposite leg. So we're just gonna move right through this again, right from one to the next, doing each one for about 30 seconds. That's a great starting point. You know, we don't always have to go for more and longer. I like to do it for less time, but really focusing on that form, really pressing that back to the floor, really trying to straighten out those arms and those legs. Awesome, you got this. Keep that belly tight. Good, good, good. Last one here. Woo, all right. All right, let's go into the hollow hold. So lift the shoulder blades. You can stay right here. I like to take the hands down. Okay, or you can straighten those legs, straighten those arms overhead. Really doesn't matter where you are. If this is, you feel this in your stomach and you're shaking, don't try to take it harder. Okay, keep that back pressed to the floor. Keep your eyes up, looking at the ceiling keep holding this movement. Nice. Three, two, 
one. Here we go. Let's bring it up. We got that Russian twist again. Now this is one you could add a weight into, but for today we're just going to start with that body weight. And again, it makes it easy. You can do this anywhere. So we're leaning back. We're on the tailbone. We're reaching from hip to hip. So you don't have to come way back. It's just from hip to hip. And we're just really trying to twist through that upper body. So it's not through the legs. Okay. Twist through that upper body, through that rib cage, coming from side to side. All right, we're almost done with this one. And last one. Awesome. Let's take it to that plank. So that plank is a great exercise to really work that full body. Elbows under those shoulders, up on those toes. Squeeze your booty and squeeze your belly. You really have to focus on tightening everything up for this exercise. It's really easy to just kind of let everything hang. So tighten up, push through the floor, Squeeze that belly, squeeze that booty, and really get that core engaging, you guys. Good. Three, two, one. Lower to the belly. Hands come out. Let's do that Superman one last time. So lift the chest, lift those legs, drive those elbows down by your side, okay? Getting that back nice and strong, too. That will help support that core, that belly, okay? Working all the way around that midsection. You got it. Strong back helps us with that strong core. You got it. Drive those elbows back. Keep going. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, two, last one. Awesome. Relax it down. So I hope you enjoyed these core exercises. They're great because you can do them anywhere and you can start building that strong core. So if you enjoyed this video, please check me out on Instagram at Becky Fox Fitness, or you can also visit my website, BeckyFoxFitness.com. I look forward to connecting with you and thank you so much for watching this video.